You think the law of assumption is just wishful thinking? Well, think again. I'm about to show you how your reality can come true like that. What's up, guys? Welcome back. It's Rudy with Vantage Mindset. In today's video, we're going to talk about the transformation of what you can have if you understand the law of assumption. This is a lot different than the law of attraction as far as we're trying to attract something into our life. The law of assumption we are assuming that what it is we want, we already have. And we backtrack from there. We make decisions as if we already are in possession of that it is what we want. We act all the way around as if we are that person who has what it is we want. That's a beautiful thing about the law of assumption. So this goes for whether you're consciously thinking about something or subconsciously thinking about something. And there's a huge difference. So think about a scenario that you've had that was very traumatic as a kid or just recently in your life. Let's say, for example, as a kid, I got pushed into a swimming pool and I couldn't swim at the time. And so I was freaking out, feeling like I was gonna die, drowning. And so my subconscious mind remembers that experience. And so now anytime I go into a water that's deep, I get super fearful. A lot of those emotions from that experience come flooding back. And think about it, would I consciously want to have those feelings? Like if I could choose to be scared and fearful in the water, would I want to? No, I don't think I'd want to, and I don't think you'd want to either. So why is it that we continue to have these emotions pop up? Well, it's because of the subconscious mind. This is what drives us. The more that we practice the subconscious mind, we put in good emotions, good thoughts into what it is we want, our outcomes, our results. That's what's going to manifest. Think about it. It's just like a muscle. The more you work out a specific muscle, you break it down more and more. You push it to its point. You make it listen to you you're gonna start seeing results that muscle is gonna get stronger it's gonna look better feel better respond better to certain situations and it goes and it goes and it continues to stockpile all the way down so yeah i want to go back to talking about the differences between the law of attraction and the law of assumption so let's say i'm trying to attract a certain specific car into my life that i really want it's my dream car i know that in the right type of situation i could afford this type of dream car but it has to be the right deal and so what I want to do is in the law of attraction, I want to try to attract that kind of car. So I'm going to think about the color of the car, the type of rims that it has, the size of rims, the interior color, the exterior color, whether it's a V6 or a V8, how many miles does it have? I want to be as specific as possible. So that's what I'm trying to attract. But when it comes to the law of assumption, let's say I assume that I already have that car or I, already, I assume I'm successful enough to own that type of car. And so when I go into my business, you know, let's say right now I own multiple businesses, but let's talk about the cleaning company. So I have a janitorial company. And if I assume that my business is gonna be systemized correctly and that we are gonna deliver the results that we promise, I can continuously go out because I assume that everything's gonna be great. So when I have conversations with these business people, I don't have to feel like I'm fabricating a lie and over delivering something that I don't feel like I can deliver to. Okay, going back to the example of the car now. So the law of attraction versus the law of assumption is that I know this car is already in my possession. It's just a matter of when So I'm making decisions. Um, I'm finding new accounts that is going to fund this car because I'm thinking about how much the monthly payments are going to be plus gas and insurance. So let's say it's a thousand dollars. Well, I am going to assume that an account that is going to cover that is already in my possession. I promise you within a little bit of time, that account is going to transpire and I'll have possession of that car, all because of the law of assumption. So I wanna give you guys a real life example. Um, someone that I believe most of us all know, and if you haven't heard the story yet, it's actually a really great story, but it's the story of Jim Carrey. Back in the 1990s at some time, before he hit it off really big, Jim Carrey wrote himself a check for $10 million and said, I'm gonna get this amount of money by this date. And he kept it in his wallet every single day. He looked at it in the morning, he looked at it in the evening and at night. He visualized himself in possession, assuming that that check was coming to him. Little and behold, fast forward on the day that he said, I think it may have been within a day or two, he got a check for $10 million. Just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was gonna make $10 million. You can sit here and you can call it coincidence. That's fine. I'm not here to try to beg you to think a certain way, but I'm just here to tell you that this stuff is real. I've done it myself. There's been hundreds, if not thousands of other people who all claim that the law of assumption works. If you have faith, you believe in God and know that if whatever it is you assume that you want, 
If it aligns with God, I promise you it will transpire if you stay faithful to that thought and you live in that state imagined 100% of the time. It'll come true. I guarantee you. So pause right here. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. I got so much game for you guys. So many plays. I spent the last 10 years studying life and business strategies that help people, you know, not just get successful, but do it in a very systematized manner and do it more efficiently. And so that's everything that I'm giving you guys. I went from negative $50,000 in debt broke to three years later doing over a million dollars in business. And I want to show you guys everything I learned because I've done a rinse and repeat to that with multiple businesses. But back to the video. So in order to do this, first, what we must do is get the desired outcome of what it is you want. Like I said, let's say for me, I want to be known as one of the go-to people in the life coaching space or in the speaking space. So let's say like a Tony Robbins. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna study what it, what does Tony Robbins do on his daily basis? Like what, how does he wake up? What's his routine like from start to finish? What does he do to motivate himself? What is he eating? How is he exercising? Like I want to envision as much as possible if I know that's the life that I want. And then I assume that I am going to attain that because I'm going to start making decisions just like Tony Robbins. I'll make decisions to do his routine. Little and behold, I'll become just like that because I have making decisions because I've assumed that that's already true. When you think about it, it sounds kind of weird because you're like, well, how can I make myself believe something that's not yet there? Think about it. This was first in somebody's mind. They assumed this to be a reality and they made it re a reality. This is not called the law of manifestation, the law of attraction. This is the law of assumption. Whoever made this assumed that it was going to be, and it is. Same thing with everything in this room. Everything has a purpose. I'm gonna assume that whatever it is that they were gonna make and put together was going to work and serve a purpose. And that's what we're doing. And lastly, in order to make all of this come together, you know, the first biggest thing was faith. You must be faithful to God. You must be faithful that your vision aligns with his because when you know that you're doing this for yourself and for God, it's like a bulletproof system fail proof system it works all the time but the other aspect that you need with faith is gratitude because it has been scientifically and spiritually proven that you cannot be grateful and have a negative emotion simultaneously it's just impossible so that's why i say in the mornings practice gratitude practice something that the first thing you do is you put yourself in a great state and start making decisions based on who it is you assume yourself to be until then, see you in the next video. Peace.